We're going to multiply a two digit number by a one digit number using the distributive property. Now that we have a multi digit number as one of our factors, we can break it or de break it apart or decompose in many different ways. One of the ways being by the tens place and the ones place. So by decompose 52 into 50 and two, I'm going to keep the seven as my second factor. So I know I'm multiplying 50 plus two times seven. So I want students to understand that the value, the total value did not change. So they should take 50 and multiply it times seven, and then two and multiply it times seven, and then they're gonna add those two values together. Very similar to the area model or partial product strategy. Five times seven is 35. 10 times greater than that would be 350. Two times seven is 14. Joining those together, I know I have five tens here, one 10 here. So 364 is the total product of 52 and seven. Now, sometimes when the factors are switched, students get a little confused. So I'm gonna show you what it would look like if we switched the place of those factors. So we're gonna start with the one digit first and then the two digit number second. So again, I want the students to break apart the 52 into 50 and two. So we're doing seven times 50 plus two. We're gonna spread that out. So seven times 50 or distribute it out. And then seven times two, join those two partial products back together. So we know seven times 50, and the previous problem was 350, and seven times two is 14. The last, steps, the last step that students need to do is to join those products back together. Again, we have one 10 and five tens, so 364 is the product. We multiplied a one digit number and a two digit number together using the distributive property for multiplication.